Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Richard, and welcome back to another Stock Market Outlook video sponsored by MarketSmith. As always, we'll run through the major indexes, talk about sentiment, the IBD big picture article, and finally the wishing wealth GMI signal. And at the very end of the video, I'll put all those different sources of information together and give you my overall take on the markets. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and look at the NASDAQ composite. Uh, right now, we're below all the different key moving averages here, the 21 EMA, uh, 50 SMA, um, as well as the declining 200 SMA. So all the trends are down as of this moment, um, but we are potentially a little bit oversold. I think that's fair to say. If you take a look at uh, the McClellan oscillator, the T2108, which is the percentage of stocks above uh, their 40 day moving averages on the NYSC, all those are pretty much at oversold levels. Uh, that does not mean that we have to bounce, but it does increase the probability of a short-term counter trend rally. And I think a key level to watch there for a potential reversal is this all-time low right here. So um, I wouldn't be surprised to see you know a gap down, um, undercut this level, and then a strong close, maybe starting a few-day rally. Uh, this doesn't have to happen. This is just a potential scenario uh, worth watching. But um, overall right now, uh, the trend is definitely down. And if you flip this chart, you've got a longer-term uptrend if it's flipped, and then you're approaching these all-time highs. So I would love to see... Um, you know, on the short side, some consolidation here, a short-term counter trend rally, and then a more significant breakout or breakdown uh, through those levels, um, moving down to new year-to-date lows. So that's kind of what I'm watching here. Uh, but as I've mentioned before, we're below a declining 21 EMA, 50 SMA, 200 SMA, as well as the short-term SMAs as well, if you've got those on your charts. Um, and right now the trend is just down. It's not time to be a hero. Um, if you're a position trader or even a swing trader uh, right now, kind of cash is king. Um, even if you're really focused on shorting right now, um, we're pretty extended to the downside. So the risk reward might not be there uh, for new shorts early next week. But like I said, if we do get some type of counter trend rally, uh, that could be an option once we break down once again. So that's pretty much it in terms of uh, the NASA composite on the daily, looking at the weekly. Uh, you can see just a classic stage four downtrend, very negative week here, finishing right near the lows. Once again, this is a key level. Um, and I think the highs from uh, before the COVID correction are also a key level just below 10,000. So some areas to watch if we do break this level is right here. Um, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. We don't have to predict. All we have to do is react to what actually is occurring and manage risk along the way. Uh, moving on over to the S&P 500. This looks very similar also in a stage four downtrend, classic rejection at the downtrending longer term moving average, uh, going over to a daily chart. Uh, similarly, it's pretty extended to the downside, but in a strong downtrend as well, uh, below declining 21 EMA, 50 SMA, as well as the 200 SMA. Uh, looking at the IWM, which is the Russell 2000 index, uh, you can see this is similarly very negative uh, in a downtrend um, and might be just a little bit closer to these year-to-date lows. It's just above it. Uh, so once again, a key area to watch here, and we're below all the key moving averages as of this moment. Uh, looking at the Innovator IBD50 ETF, uh, this has been absolutely destroyed, just in a longer-term downtrend. Uh, we've already broken these prior lows, as you can see. And uh, yeah, this is extremely negative. Growth stocks have gotten hit very, very hard. In terms of overall groups that are holding up well and could potentially spawn the next group of true market leaders, uh, there's not too much out there. Uh, pretty much over the past few months, it's pretty much been uh, solar and biotech. Those are still kind of the strongest, uh, but solar did take a hit last week. If we take a look at uh, the overall ETF, TAN, uh, you can see we've declined below the 50 SMA and you had a gap down on Friday. A lot of energy related names also had gap downs, uh, but we are still above the 200 SMA, although it is declining here. Um, the biggest two leaders, FSLR and EMPH, are holding up a little bit better. Uh, first, taking a look at FSLR. This has been super strong since this earnings gap up and uh, is still holding that 21 EMA, a little bit of an upside reversal on Friday. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see some type of longer term base consolidation, especially if the market continues to be weak. Uh, but this is still a name definitely worth watching because of this power and accumulation signs, as you can see here. And going over to a weekly, I wouldn't be surprised to see some type of consolidation occur right um, above this level. I think that'd be very constructive. And you can see the super strong relative strength and uh, overall just great action here from the stock, despite the recent short-term weakness. So still a stock to watch um, once you know the overall market cooperates and restarts at least a short-term rally. So bringing up EMPH, uh, this is definitely a little bit weaker. You can see once again, a negative weekly bar. 
uh, going over to a daily chart. We're right below that 50 SMA, and it looks like we undercut just barely uh, this prior level. We're in a short-term down cycle. Uh, breaking this low was definitely a negative look. Even, even this low right here was definitely pretty negative, um, as well as the kind of um, clean 300 mark. But you know, still stock to watch, uh, still not broken. Uh, this weakness is kind of because of the overall market health, and it's holding up a lot better than most stocks in the market. And uh, I love the power here on this move up here, great volume as well, and uh, great fundamentals um, to boot. So uh, definitely a stock to have on your radar might not be viable next week, uh, but if it firms up here, moves up, consolidates, contracts, um, and the overall market turns around as well, as well as the group, uh, definitely a stock to have on your radar. Um, other than that, the other really strong group was of course the biotech. Uh, there are a few stocks acting well. Uh, Vertex is kind of a bigger cap leader that's just under the 50 SMA, holding up reasonably well inside day on Friday. Um, I'm watching for a move through here, uh, still consolidating, not necessarily viable next week, especially considering the overall market conditions, uh, but this is still an area that's acting super strong. REGN is another kind of bigger cap name uh, that had recent strong action, pull back to the market, uh, but still you can see the relative strength line, this is outperforming um, in general. So overall, in terms of groups, uh, solar continues to be a focus of mine as well as biotech. I think biotech has the better charts looking at um, them over this weekend. So let me know your thoughts on those groups down below and let's move on over to sentiment. Okay, so here we are moving on to my Twitter surveys and you can see we actually increased in terms of bullishness uh, from last week from 27% to 38%, which actually surprised me quite a bit, uh, but we'll have to see what happens coming next week. Um, also looking at the bulls versus bears poll, uh, the bears are now just slightly edging above the uh, bulls once again. You can see it kind of flipped a little bit here during the short-term rally. Uh, but once again, from a contrarian point of view, this is pretty darn good. Uh, looking at the put call ratio, this still has room to increase, but it's trending upwards. Uh, so I'd love to see a big spike. I think we have had that intraday, uh, but not quite at the end of the day. And lastly, looking at the IBD big picture article, you can see their overall view is a market in correction. And here are some leaders up in volume and some down in volume as well. And uh, also taking a look at the GMS signal. This is red since August uh, 29th. Um, and the overall GMS score is a zero out of six. But uh, Dr. Wish does kind of talk about um, how a lot of the indicators show that we are technically oversold. But remember, oversold can always easily get more oversold. So uh, just because we are, you know, extended to the downside doesn't mean that we have to bounce wait for price action to let you know what's gonna happen. So um, overall, my current view is marketing correction. We're in a bear market. Uh, the trend is down on most timeframes, uh, but we'll have to see what happens next week. We could easily get an oversold bounce, uh, but once again, we don't have to predict. All we have to do is react to what actually happens. So let me know your thoughts on this market down below in the comment section. Uh, leave a like down below as well if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.